back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, if you saw by the title, we're going to be, I'm going to be asking my mother questions that you guys are too afraid to ask your mom. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. I'll let you know now that if you choose not to answer, that's okay. But I posted on my Instagram to have you guys ask her some questions. I'm going to be asking her those and then asking her a couple of extra questions that I wrote down in my journal, as usual. So I'm going to ask questions from my phone. You ready? Also, where I go, the dog goes. And so that's what I'm doing. So first question is, why do we wash the dishes when we're just going to put them in the dishwasher? We don't have a dishwasher, but like when we did, what, what do you say to that? Um, why do we wash them first? I don't know. I would just say so the dishwasher doesn't get all gunky and gross. And not necessarily that you have to wash them first. Just rinse off all the particles. Do you see how that would, yeah. could you see how that would like damage your dishwasher? Yeah. Like you could get like particles stuck in there. Mm -hmm. Was that a really mom answer of me? Like a generic mom <laughs> answer? Probably. Like a basic mom answer? I don't know. <laughs> not a, I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Okay, um, next question is, what was your first period like? <clears throat> Gross. <laughs> I don't really remember it, like, remember it, remember it, but I found my journal, like my little, it, was, it wasn't a journal, because I was 11, it was a diary, and uh, it was like, it just said, oh, I started my period, it's so gross, so I assume I was just as grossed out then as I am now, back with my period. <laughs> okay, um... Did you, did you ever get frustrated with raising two girls also love you and miss you? We do love and miss you too. Um, so did you ever get frustrated raising two girls? Did I ever? Or Will I ever? Both. Have I ever? All of I do on the daily, but it's the best part of my day. I love every part of it, even the frustration and even the, the madness and the chaos. I still love more than anything that I've got two teenagers. <laughs> Okay, so this one's a little out there. Okay. We love How did you teaching. lose your virginity? How did I lose my virginity? So I was young. I was <laughs> 15 when I lost my virginity. And, uh, oh geez, his name is James. And let's see, if he, so if, okay. Do you guys really want to know? If you really, really want to know, his name was James and he was in, I lived in a really small town north of our town that we're in now, about 60 miles, and so he was in trouble. So he was basically in juvie, <laughs> and he, it was Christmas Day. May I know, I already know this story. She doesn't. This is for you. So it was Christmas Day, and he was in juvie, and his parents had went and picked him up from juvie. So the gift, like, this was 1995, people, 95, okay? And um, his parents went and picked him up, and I knew that I wanted to do it that day. So I had made like a pretty solid like mixtape of like some good like R&B from the 90s. <laughs> and so I was pretty stoked about it. Okay. I mean it was it was good. It was okay. I mean, I'm glad it got over with. <laughs> okay. Um, Winston, say hi. He's going to get a haircut, you guys, I promise. He's very we'll do it before scrappy. and after. It's gross. Is there, a, is there a possible way to have your cake and eat it too? I don't know what that means, but what um, do you think? Um, who's that from? I don't know. Is there a way to have your cake and eat it too? I'm sure everybody has a different answer for that, and I would think so. I think I kind of have my cake sometimes and eat it too. We won't go into specifics, but <laughs> I think I, it's possible. Okay. Um, how do you feel about timely dating? Um, I think Tiny, this, this, this one, her, Hi. This one. Me. um, I think she'll be really mature and, um, she has priorities and she works her butt off for the things that she, um, does like with her dancing and like this. And so I think that she's got other priorities. So I think that she, you know, it would have to take a really stand up dude to win this one over cause she doesn't fall for anybody. She doesn't fall for losers. Sorry, not sorry. So you know, I, I support it, and I um, I just I trust highly. So thank you. Um, what's your favorite tattoo? Of myself or of people in general? Um, I'm assuming what of yours? Who's he knows um, you. that one from? This one is from J T Hiskey, and the next one is as well. Um, Shout I'll mention to J T. 
I'll mention more about him in the next question. Love Jamie. I want to big say tattoo. Big tattoo. Um, my favorite tattoo. You know, at each time um, when I got each tattoo, it was probably my favorite tattoo at the time. Even going back to my first tattoo in the '90s, which was a really bad tribal that has since been covered up. <laughs> But at the time, it was my favorite tattoo. Um, well, like if you had to pick one right now, like something, maybe do something like if you're gonna pick one right now, show or show one from your arms or something. So this is our cat. Is that upside down? Oh yeah, that's upside down. Okay, so this is our cat that passed away. His name was Llama. <laughs> we um, him. If you guys saw my me my pets video, I did talk about Llama and what happened. So if you guys want to know, and I showed like photos, you guys can go check out that video. I'll link it in the description. I also really like this tattoo a lot. <laughs> Keep it up. Um, this next question is also from JT, and it says, Fave Warped Tour Band. That is a tough one, because I started going to Warped Tour when I was about 15 and 95, and I've seen so many good bands, and it was, like, some of the best times of my life. Uh, Primus, Rancid, No Effects. Oh, my gosh, I've seen Deftones, of course, because that's my favorite band. Can we tag these guys in this? I can try. We should we should tag also um, Nash because I saw him play not at Warp Tour, but Nash is awesome. It says you broke my heart, and all I got is this T-shirt. So, Sorry, all I saw. Wait, what is this? All I got was this T-shirt. You broke my heart, and all I got was this T-shirt. Cute. That's what it says. Um, and then oh, wait, let me finish. Um, um, so more sorry. about bands. Uh, I love seeing bands. Actually, Warp Tour is what got me liking to see live music. So I love, 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 like music, and Warp Tour was some of the best times of my life. I want to say Primus was amazing. Oh man, MXPX was really good. I actually, MXPX was like, I, one of the, yeah, MXPX was like one of my favorite bands when I was young, and it, we like freaked out to try to get there in time. It was awesome. Oh, Alien Ant Farm was a really good show. I remember meeting them after the show. That was really cool about Warped Tour too because a lot of the bands would come out to, there was like tents out there and mm -hmm. they would come out and hang out with us and like sign shit and it was a really good time. Best times of my life. Back in Sounds the day. really fun. It was. Um, another thing I was gonna mention is JT just posted a video about his favorite Warped Tour bands. Yes. So I will link that in the description as well so you guys yes, can check that out. Shout out JT, you guys I'm, will love him. Yeah, he's so good. I love his channels and channels, channel. And he makes music and stuff too so I'll link his stuff down below. Um, but the next question is, ever done drugs? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, who's that one from? Um, her name's Kayla. She goes to my dance studio. Hi, Kayla. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm 40 this year, and the 90s were crazy, man. Good times. <laughs> um, the next question is, were you planning on having a kid, and did you want, like, me to be a girl? I'm, I'm the oldest, but if you didn't already know, I'm the oldest, so I would have been the first. <coughs> I'm the first. So, so she's the having? oldest. I and no, I wasn't. I was, I was really young. Not really young. I wasn't like, you know, 17 when I had Tylee. But I was 23 when I had Tylee. And um, at the time, it just seemed like the way the universe was supposed to unfold. And I was really excited for it. It was really, really hard because her, her dad and I didn't get married until we were 26. I was 26. He was 27. And... Uh, so no, Tylee was not planned, but I was so happy and blessed and she has become my best friend and um, I wouldn't change it for anything ever. Mm -hmm. But I do get girls that come into my work um, now that are 23 and I'm like, who the hell let me have a baby when I was a baby? Because you guys are babies. That's it's funny. strange, but. Well, when you found out you were pregnant, like, did you want me to be a girl or were you like? <clears throat> oh, I think like so. Pregnant? I think in my mind I just wanted a girl. I mean, I think so, but I remember um, where I was standing in the in the house that we. Do you guys know? Oh, never mind. It was it's a, it's a it's a thing in our town that everybody would know. So if you live in our town, you know the bright green building on the corner that is supposed to be a daycare, but nobody ever sees any kids there. Oh yeah, that's right, scary. right. We used to live right next to that, and that's where Tyler uh -huh. was made. Cute. <laughs> um, the next question is, how did you raise such a baddie? Well, it takes a baddie to raise a baddie. <laughs> I love and a little baddie, like, you know, crazy. 
<laughs> no, I mean, I on Mother's Day, I posted on Mother's Day I, on Facebook, I said, it takes a badass mother. What did I say? Oh, I said, <laughs> I'm a badass mother because she was a badass mother. It could be mother beep or just mother in general. So I think that I, Tylee's a lot like me. Okay. Um, the next question is, is it hard watching your girls grow up? More than anything in the world. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts with so much like love and if love can hurt, it hurts. It just aches because you just want them to keep them close and safe for forever. And, but it also is the most bestest thing and I cry a lot. <laughs> and I cry. <laughs> um, how do you feel about high school relationships? Um, I think they're really good to have. I think it's, it's a good, like, I don't know, I don't know how to word it. It's a good start. It's a good place to start with your future relationships. I don't think you need to take it seriously. I don't think you need to say it's going to be my end all be all, my ride or die, because it won't be, you know, and, and sometimes it happens. I, I mean, don't get mad at me for being like, Sarah, my mom and dad have been together since ninth grade, you know, since ninth grade. because it does happen. It really does happen. But in my life, I have never, I, I'm really bitter as far as relationships go. So I think, um, <laughs> you know, have friends, have friends and have, have, and have your first kiss. And, and you know, when you're, when you're mature enough to talk about sex with your parents and things like that, then, then maybe you're mature enough to, to do it and, and things like that. So I think it's great. I think being young is awesome. And I think you should slow down and try to experience and not want to get too old too fast. Cause it goes by really fast. I'm 40 this year, 40. That's weird. I don't like it. It's I like it. I not honestly I like, feel really good. I feel more confident than I ever have. Yay! I like myself more than I ever have. Um. Okay. Last or this. This is the last question from other people, and it's craziest thing you did as like a teenager, like when you were <clears throat> our age, my age. Oh. Yeah, my I age. wasn't the best kid. I wasn't terrible because I did watch my brother and sister kind of do some not awesome things and put my single mother through some awful things and my stepdad as I got a little older and that sucked to watch them go through that so everything that I did my mom didn't know about until I was older so grandma if you're watching this she might she be, knows about a lot which, of stuff but this, what is what I'm like about I was like I could totally send this to her because I send my grandma YouTube videos because mm -hmm. um, just to keep her busy in quarantine and stuff so I'll send her videos and I'll send her this one just because I think it's because you're in it too. So I'm like just it. trying to think of the craziest thing. What well, about one time? Which one? One time you were, weren't you in like juvie or jail for like one night or something? Oh, I did go to jail <laughs> for one night, but I was not a teenager. I was I oh. was 19. I mean, I was well, 19, so I guess technically I didn't yes, realize I'm that. a teenager. I was 19. I got arrested. Mm -hmm. I moved out with a boyfriend. Don't do that. Stay with your parents. It was dumb. Uh, and. We both got arrested for possession of marijuana, uh, and <laughs> I stayed in there for like eight hours, and it wasn't it wasn't fun at all. It was terrible, and I've never have went back. Good. That's twenty one years ago for all of you that can't do math, and um, don't go to jail. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do don't it. crack is whack. Don't do don't do drugs. Crack is whack. You don't know, don't do drugs. Stay in school. Stay in school. <laughs> School's cool. Um. What it, okay, so these are questions from me now. Oh, um, I wrote down like little, there's like four questions. I just wanted to make sure that we had a long enough video. So I wrote down a couple things that I personally was just like <laughs> thinking that you guys would be interested in hearing. So, um, what is it like being a hairdresser? Like doing hair? I love it. I love people and I love people's stories and I get a lot of really interesting people. I got a guy that was a senator in Maine the other day. So that was really cool. And I get uh, people from all over the world. So my favorite thing is talking to people and learning from them and they're hearing their awesome story. So I love doing hair. I At the end of the day, I'm over people. I do not want to do the people thing anymore when I have done a full day of work. What are your Did that answer your question? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts on my YouTube channel? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love what you do. I love all your content. I love that it keeps you busy and I love that you have, I don't know if you get haters, 
you haven't told me anything about any haters, I haven't. so I assume if you do get some, you handle them really well. Usually, I just delete the comments. Yeah, but I don't so. really get any haters at all, like ever. Or sometimes I'll get like a comment that is like telling me I did something wrong, and I'm like, you know what? I don't even care. Um, who's your favorite donor? I'm not gonna say that. I need to know. If you feel like it's you, it's you, then it's you. Cause you know what? Sometimes it's you, and sometimes it's her. No, it's me. We and sometimes it's, me. it's Cora. Cora sometimes, is a brat. Sometimes it's Gigi. Sometimes it's, um, you know, Taylor or Lola. Sometimes you're like, I'm done with my own Sometimes kids. I'm done with my own children and I just want their friends. Because they're nice to me. Well, they all call you mom anyway. Okay, I guess that's it for this video. Um, Let's sign off, shall we? Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my mom answer some questions. Um, if you have any more, send them in. If you, have, if you have any more, feel free to DM them to me and if I get a bunch more, we'll do a part two of this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, you know, the usual. Um, subscribe, check out my vlog channel, check out JT's channel and his social media as well. Um, we love him. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, don't you say like, see you tomorrow, yeah. next week, or Thursday. Um, I check out my vlog channel as well. I've been posting a lot of vlogs recently and I've got a lot of fun vlog ideas coming up. Um, but I guess that's it. So make sure you guys follow my Instagram as well. Um, that's where I post a lot about like how I got the questions for this video. I post a lot of polls about my channel and things like that. So if you guys want to be included in that kind of thing, definitely go follow me on Instagram. Um, last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or just whenever you're watching this, bye!